Hello, my name is David Baum. And I'm Evan Eifler. We're teaching an online course in evolutionary biology this summer. And we're here today to tell you a little bit more about what to expect. It has been said that nothing in biology makes sense except in light of evolution, which is why we believe that every biologist or anybody who wishes to understand the natural world should really uh, learn about evolution in biology. Uh, the course will begin June 18th. It'll run for eight weeks and will be structured around the online version of this textbook. Uh, but to make it a more rich and engaging online course, uh, we also include short video lectures, uh, online discussions, and podcast-style guest lectures from evolutionary biologists across campus. Uh, assessments will include quizzes, short assignments, problem sets, discussions, uh, and a group project. We'll also have weekly office hours and personal feedback from both of us, the instructors, throughout the course. Our goal for this class is that you should leave it really understanding evolutionary theory and how evolutionary biologists set about trying to make sense of biological diversity. So our plan is to begin uh, just by looking at evidence for evolution and um, take a broad look at the structure of evolutionary theory. And then in the second module, we'll be diving into understanding phylogenetic trees and how they can be used to make sense of biological diversity and structure our knowledge in an accurate way. The third section of the class, third module, uh, will look at the mechanisms by which populations change over time to give rise to organisms that are well adapted to their ways of life, which is to say we're going to understand both natural selection and genetic drift and how they interact. Um, and uh, in the fourth module, we'll try and tie those pieces together by using some examples that illustrate evolution in action. Uh, we'll then move on to talk about some traits and characteristics of living organisms that are challenging at first glance. Um, for example, uh, the evolution of highly integrated uh, traits, the evolution of sex itself, and how it is that life histories might evolve. Um, we'll move then on to talk about species uh, and how species originate and multiply. Um, and we're going to pay particular attention to how it is that the co-evolution of interacting species can help explain some of the interesting patterns we see when we look at natural ecosystems. And um, we'll end by looking at ourselves, we'll look at humans, we'll understand both how um, evolutionary biology helped us make sense of standing diversity in human populations and also how humans originated in evolutionary time. We encourage you to enroll and we'll see you for evolutionary biology this summer. See you this summer.